Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke, and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440 Ohio RVs. Myself or my brother Levi would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440-644-6787. For sale today, we have a brand new 2021 Forest River Work and Play 21 LT toy hauler. I mistakenly called this a 2022 during the video. It is a brand new 2021 unit and not a 2022. Alrighty folks, here we are inside of this brand new 2022 Forced River Work and Play 21 LT. A little different than our normal tours here, but we'll go ahead and get started on this unit right away. So we've got the buckles throughout on the floor that you can use to fasten down the load inside the toy hauler area here. Got two chairs, got window that opens with a screen on this portion. Got a 110 plug down here. Flip around to the kitchen area. Got your fuse panel down here. Nice big separate fridge freezer. Microwave. Hood light and range fan. We have a three burner propane cooktop. We have an oven. And three drawers. A storage below. A nice countertop and backsplash. We do have a window that opens with a screen on this portion. Two basin sink. Storage overhead. We have speakers in the ceiling that are controlled via the head unit that we'll check out here in a little while. Got your air conditioner here. So the air conditioner can be ducted and go through the ducts on the ceiling or you can make it blow straight out at you. There's a little flapper here you close to choose whether you want it to push out the ducts or come straight down. We have a fantastic fan. The fantastic fan is controlled via the remote control that is on the wall over here, we'll see later on. We have windows with a screen here, with a screen here on this portion. So the toy hauler portion here is going to have these couch beds that can go up against the wall or come down like this. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures in here so you can see the different variations of how this can be made up and the measurements. The sofa beds can be put down one at a time if desired and fold out to make beds. The single sleepers measure approximately 48 inches side to side and 60 inches front to back. When made into one large bed, it will measure approximately eight foot side to side and 60 inches front to back. The rear door opening measures approximately 93 inches wide and 80 and a half inches high. The floor to ceiling measurement is approximately 85 inches and the width is approximately 98 and a quarter inches. From the end of the kitchen counter back, the toy hauler portion is approximately 81 inches long. The full length of the toy hauler portion is approximately 167 and a half inches. Here we are standing at the rear of the toy hauler. Did you know that Bruce Lee has a faster, older brother? Suddenly. And one who's a vegetarian? Broccoli. And one who suffers from depression? Sadly. So, as you can see, we kind of have a split design in the front where there is a bedroom here. And a bathroom here. We have your thermostat that controls the furnace and the overhead air conditioner. 
a TV here. Got two USB plugins, 110 outlet. This is the head unit that's gonna control the speakers throughout the unit. We'll move into the bedroom area first. Got storage beneath the bed with a table. Got a mattress here. This mattress will come apart here to fill in this whole area. We have screened windows all the way around. Got some storage overhead. When the slide is in, this part will buckle up like this to be able to be in travel mode. Got a nice area here for your goodies in your bedroom. Storage down below. Four drawers. Nice cabinet here. Two 110s, also USB plug ins. We have sliding doors that you can close for privacy. There's one there to block off the bathroom. One here to block off the main part of the coach, and one here for the bathroom by the door. Got light switches for the bedroom area. Stepping now into the bathroom. Nice large shower, not much of a lift to get up and in here. Two 110 outlets. Got switches for the lights and the exhaust fan here in the bathroom. Nice little toy haulers here by Forest River Work and Play. We're excited to have these as a part of our lineup here in 2021 and hopefully beyond. Check it out at Coon Truck and RV, family owned and operated. Proud to be the best little RV dealer since 1976. Visit us at truckandrv.com. By the walk-in door, we have the command center. So control the power awning, your lights, water heater, water pump, and your levels test. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this brand new 2022 Forest River Work and Play 21 LT. Got a nice big 18 foot power awning with an awning light. The accent lights on the front. A nice storage bay here with your spray port hose and your stabilizer jack crank. Put your stabilizer jacks around the unit. Some drains there. Two 110 outlets to plug things in beneath the awning. We do have Asdell composite sidewalls, aluminum cage construction, and a heated and enclosed underbelly. You got an exhaust port here you can push out from the inside. Porch light, got a nice, easily accessible entry. We've got two speakers that are controlled via the head unit inside. Going around to the back of the toy hauler here, the gate will flip down with these latches here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like with the gate down. The Work and Play Series campers have the option of adding a patio kit that can be purchased separately that allows the rear door to be used as an optional patio. To use the door as a ramp for loading things into the toy hauler, simply unhook the cables and let the door down to the ground. Coming around now to the driver's side of the toy hauler, we have an exhaust port here. We have a gray tank drain for the rear gray tank. Got the exhaust over the stove. We've got the spray port connection. Got your city water connection, black tank flush, your TV cable and satellite hookup, back of the water heater, the fill for the onboard fresh water tank, your furnace exhaust, got your shore power plug in here. We have the drain for the gray tank in the front and the toilet, so the black tank. Back of your fridge. 
some slide out here. Here in the front, we have a power jack with a light. Got some propane tanks. We have your coach battery. There is room for additional coach batteries to be added. Got your coach battery disconnect switch. We have this stove spot here that can be used for a generator, for gas tanks for your toys, or perhaps firewood.